Good morning. Welcome to Shri Krishna Stories. Vitala, this man is going to not earn. But is there no caste etiquette? Simple story to explain. Always chanting Krishna devotion songs by Tukar. He has the devotion of Krishna that his wife Kamala flows. Although like this, will the deity open the eyes forever? Will the poverty of our home disappear? Another problem with Tukaram. He will keep the lower castes equal without preserving the status of up caste and will sing hymns before them. Which upper caste would agree this? With a sigh, Kamala Bai squeezed her sari and dried it in the backyard. Then she came to the door looking for the husband Tukaram. He was sitting on the bench and singing as usual. Many were listening to that angel. The sweetness of his voice and the depth of his devotion made Kamalappa a melting pot. Vitala, this man is going to not earn. But is there no caste etiquette? Many of the assembled fans were lower caste. What are you like doing like this? Everyone is the same human race, he laughs. A beautiful woman stood back a little and listened to the songs. The ripped sari was barely concealing her dignity. Why are you pushing, mom? I will come and sit here. Tukaram treated her affectionately. Kamalabai put the torn sari tied to the lower caste woman to sit on the throne well. She went home as fast as she could, thinking angrily, I have nothing to do with this. The shrine concert continued. Aha, what a song. Everyone melted. The lower caste woman also melted. Kannada does not have all caste differences. Let everyone pay homage to Kannan and find a way to go to Vaikundam. They said goodbye one by one. Only the lower caste woman sat quietly. Why, mom, didn't you leave? Let everyone go, Sami. I'm going to the last. If I go first, those behind me will continue to criticize my torn sari. Do you have any other sari, mom? There were a lot of sari, Sami. But someone asked my husband on an embarrassing occasion if she was a woman, a sari, to protect her dignity. My husband is Dharma Prabhu. Where he handed all over my sari. All I have left is this ripped sari. My husband used to steal sari as a sport at a young age. The woman should steal the sari from the bath and give it to them only if they begged. He aimed at the minds of such women. Isn't it so it's like he's dictating to the woman that it's a ripped sari? Tukaram listened to all her home stories. Wait a minute. Went to the backyard. Kamala Bai draped the dried sari from the flag. Came to the door. Mom, now tie the sari. There will be no tearing. Women should not wear ripped saris. He handled her the saris. She looked at him kindly and asked, Wouldn't your wife be angry about you giving me a sari? How long has she been angry? Then she will be at peace. She has another sari that is not torn. You still need it. She said goodbye with her sari, smiling at Tukram's reply. Evening, Kamala Bai, who had left from the temple with her husband, went to that backyard and looked at the flag so that she could put on the dried sari. Let's see the sari. She came to the man angrily. Where is the sari? A woman with a torn sari came to listen to my song. I gave her that sari, Kamala. Do you have another sari that's not torn? She does not know whether to laugh or cry when she sees the child speaking grief. It's a joke, but this is Valal, a man who doesn't know even know how to do a cornfield guard job, wiping away the tears that welled up in her eyes. She locked the house and left with her husband. Don't cry, Kamala. He will give us what we need. She walked towards the temple with a sigh without saying anything to her husband. Both of them headed towards the womb. Why did you create my husband like this? Kamala stood there with tears in her eyes with the question. Pandurangan and Rukmini, who were standing with their hands on their hips, laughed. Kamala Bai opened her eyes and looked at the statue of Rukmini. She threw up in shock. The statue of Aurukmuni was tied with the same sari that she had dried on the vine. She quinted and looked back on forth. No doubt, it's her sari. Then, did my mother Rukmini come to be a lower caste woman? Goddess, forgive me. I said something without knowing the glory of my husband. Poverty made me talk like that, mom. She fell down and worshipped Krishna and Rukmini and walked towards the house with the husband in devotional tears, saying, 
कम एंड गो होम जय विठला जय जय विठला सर्व श्री कृष्णार्पणम